All right, everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by, I appreciate it. So today I wanted to go over and continue how to work on live wires. This is not plugged in right now, as you can see, um, but it is ready to be plugged in. Um, but I just wanna go over some steps here real quick of how to strip wires. Um, if you're watching this, then I'm assuming that you already know how to do that. But for people like me, um, or I guess my style of stripping wires, um, Obviously, you match the wire to the wire size. This is, um, I believe, a size 12, but we're about to find out. This is actually probably a 14. Um, so you match it up to the gauge. You push down on the strippers themselves. And I usually like to push away to get the plastic off. Um, but that technique can be kind of dangerous if you're working on live wires, and I'll show you that here in a second. Um, so once again... Um, another way is just to push down and, and pull away. Sorry, I hit the tripod right there. So push down and pull away is an easy way to do it, um, or a, another way to do it, um, a safer way to do it. Um, but for sometimes if you need extra force, I like to push on this, um, but that can be dangerous if you are working on the live circuit because as soon as, I went over this in the last video, but as soon as, you, if this wire was hot and plugged in and live, as soon as you go to um, crimp down on that, you're gonna to be touching the metal. And as soon as the metal touches the strippers of the, the metal of the strippers, it becomes basically an extension of the wire or the circuit, um, cause metal um, is conductive and transfers the electricity from the hot wire to the strippers. So as soon as you touch that metal together and you go to strip on it, or yeah, strip away the plastic and you go to push on it, you're gonna be feeling that electricity as well. So that is not a good way to strip if you're um, doing it live. So um, basically you're gonna just basically want to um, push down on it and then pull it away um, when you're doing it live um, and making sure that all the other wires or the wire has no nicks or whatnot. So. Um, so anyways, I'll just go ahead and plug this in real quick and show you guys how to do this while it's live. I'm probably going to make a, a different video series of how to do plugs hot, switches hot, and stuff like that. And then just kind of go over some safety and stuff like that um, as well. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in right here. Right there. And then as you can see, now the wires are hot. Basically the black one's only hot, but... Um, so basically, like I said, you do not want to touch this now. As you can see, I already made a nick right there. So I'm going to cut that off just because. And then once again, um, I'm not going to hold on to the ground because that can be slightly dangerous. <coughs> um, so I'm just going to hold on to the one black wire right now. Um, try not to touch all these other wires. So now I got this ready. So you're just going to, um, like I said, find the wire gauge that you have and then push down on it. And as soon as I click down on this, watch, I'll prove it to you. Now, now the strippers are hot. So as soon as I cl cl click down on the wire, now the strippers become hot. So you're not gonna wanna touch the strippers now. And um, like I said in the video last night, um, I'm just gonna unplug this now because, okay, well, that's what happens when you touch the wires together. I accidentally touched the ground wire and it popped the breaker, I think. So anyways, <laughs> now that this is turned off, um, what I was gonna, what I was gonna say is, um, that was kind of funny. So anyways, if you have the, um, the insulated strippers, it's not gonna matter if it's insulated. It is gonna help you in the fact that you're not going to feel the shock or whatnot if you have the insulated strippers. But if you're still, if you still don't know what you're doing, like in the last video, if you go to um, strip two wires, if you go to cut two live wires together, um, especially just basically the hot and the neutral or the hot and the ground, they're gonna explode. And you don't want to buy an expensive pair of insulated strippers if you don't know what you're doing, because as soon as you blow holes in them, they're gonna be pretty useless except for the stripping part, obviously. Half of it is cutting and half of it is stripping. Um, but as soon as you blow out the cutting part, they're pretty much useless. 
Um, so you don't want to spend a whole bunch of money, like 30, 40 bucks, maybe 50 bucks. I'm not sure how much insulated strippers are, but you don't want to spend a whole bunch of money on insulated strippers if you don't know what you're doing and make mistakes and blow up tools because <clears throat> then they're pretty much useless. So hopefully this video helps you out. Um, I'm probably going to go over like how to work on live wires in a box and how to do, like I said, plugs and switches. But I did also want to mention... One more thing here, I don't really have any strand wire besides this big, like, giant, I think this is like a number two, four, or six, I can't remember. <clears throat> but for stranded wires, if you're working on a, if you're working on a hot, a hot stranded wire, this is a ground wire, but um, just for example, if this was a hot wire, um, you would want to <clears throat> um, find your, find the same size wire gauge, sorry, this is not focusing at all. You're gonna to wanna to find the same size wire gauge. Obviously this one doesn't match up with my strippers, but let's just pretend it, it did for the time being. So I'm just going to strip that real quick. <clears throat> so say, say I clamp down on this wire and it's the right size for the strippers. Uh, so basically what you wanna do is I like to um, kind of uh, wiggle it a, a little bit, just in, enough to get some plastic showing on the edge. Uh, that might not have been on camera, so I'll show you that again. You can just kind of pull away from the um, wire itself. Um, obviously, this one's gonna be a little bit harder, but in the smaller wire, it should come off a little bit easier. So once you get a little bit of plastic um, towards the end, I like to grab it with the strippers and then kind of pull it away. It's not really working that well right now because um, <clears throat> this is, I didn't really push it away enough, but I'm just going to Pull this away real quick, so like that. And then once you get enough of it, if this was hot, then you can just grab the tip of it, which has no wire in it, and then just pull it off like such. So you can use that as a tip as well. So hopefully this helped you out. I tried to make this as short as possible, but still ended up kind of being a long video. But anyways, hopefully this helped you out and gives you some safety tips. And I'll keep going over some hot video, hot live work. Um, so if you enjoyed, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. I'd appreciate it and help the channel grow. And I'd love to see you guys back in the next video. Don't forget to check out the description. The link tree, the first link down below is going to have pretty much most of everything that you're going to need to find about me. And then hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload or do live streams. Thanks guys so much. God bless. Have an awesome rest of your day. Peace out.